Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cuban Hunted, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial video, my first one. And I actually made a thumbnail for this because I plan to bring you guys a bunch of tutorials. So hopefully, you guys get a lot out of this and help you uh, with editing. These are going to be on After Effects, Photoshop, um, Sony Vegas, stuff like that. Anyway, this one's going to be a Twixter tutorial. Twixter tutorial on uh, that. So yeah, this is an Adobe After Effects, and Adobe After Effects is actually really easy to download off offline, and then Twixter is as well. I'm pretty sure Twixter is free, but After Effects isn't, but it's still easy to get. I didn't tell you that though. All right. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is uh, saying that you already have After Effects cracked and Twixter downloaded. You're going to come into After Effects, and and by the way, this is the this should be the Twixter that you guys just viewed. Um, this video is me making this, but at the same time, it's going to be a tutorial, and hopefully, uh, this one goes out pretty well. I'm going to try and do it quick though, so you can see in real time. So anyway, you're going to click on composition and the new composition. I uh, just leave a comp one. This works best with an HD PVR, by the way. If you don't have an HD PVR, it kind of uh, sucks because then you're kind of screwed because it the dazzle and stuff doesn't record in in enough frames per second to do this it'll be choppy um, you can also do it with black magic obviously so you want to leave it at 1280 720 frame rate 59.94 if that's what you record at and then your duration I think the clip I'm putting in is like 14 seconds so I'm gonna make the duration uh, let's do 30 give myself some time and leave everything the same make sure lock, ra lock aspect ratio is clicked and all that so yeah, this is milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours. So 30 seconds should be enough. Alright, so it makes a project here. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your clip, and I believe it's in my video. Uh, videos. I just recorded it. Uh, it's going to be, what's today's date? March 24th. 24 right here. It's going to be the last one from March 24th, this one. You're going to drag that up here into this box. This is going to take a while, too, because I'm recording in HD, and I'm also using After Effects, so it might lag just a little bit. All right, so you want to drag it right here, not down in the timeline. Once you have it in here, then you drag it into the timeline. Uh, if you do it over here, it's kind of annoying, so make sure you have it to the point where this yellow thing is lined in, so just do it like somewhere over here. Drop it in. Now, it's a little misshaped because uh, HDPVR records weirdly so you just want to move it so there's no black borders and then you want to do a few things quick quickly hopefully um, make sure this is light blue it means it's selected you want to click on this enables frame blending it's like three movie clips on top of each other that allows the frames to blend smoothly then you want to double click the smaller one twice so that it's a solid line going to the right from the bottom left you want to right click on the actual clip itself and go to frame blending and make sure pixel motion is on it already is for me and then you want to go to time and you want to make sure enable time remapping is also clicked it'll give you these two little dots then you want to go to layer make sure frame blending is chose to pixel motion up here and then you want to make sure time time remapping once you have that you're ready to do twixter so you go to effect um, if it stay whatever you use a lot stays up here. So if you haven't used it before, it's going to be down here somewhere, probably under Twixter. For some reason, mine is under Revision Plugins, and then it's Twixter Pro. So open up Twixter. It's going to give you this drop-down area. You want to click Effects. You want to click it again, and then you get you want to go to Output Control. Now, this is um, different from Sony Vegas. It's actually a little bit more complicated to use. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff. First off, you want to go to your project and you want to see the frame rate that it's in right now it's 59.94 so on your input which is right here input frame rate you want to change that to the exact amount so 59.94 and then hit enter that allows it to accurately um, react now you want to drop a frame keyframe uh, which is using the stopwatch next to the speed percentage click on that it'll drop a frame a keyframe right there what you want to do now is you want to drag the slider uh, it's best to put it in like half resolution that way it renders a little quicker you can just go through it let's see where the first reload is alright so we passed it 
looks like it's gonna be right about here this button allows you to skip frames uh, one by one makes it a little bit easier alright it's probably gonna be right around here alright so what you wanna do put it back on full is you wanna find a a clean frame to do it on I usually like to add the pulling out the clip slow having putting back the clip in slow and then pulling the um whatever the hell it's called I forgot <laughs> I for it slipped my mind for some reason it's on the end of my tongue so okay so let's see I think I want right pull the bolt back yeah there you go alright there alright so I'm gonna drop another keyframe by pushing this button button right here add or remove keyframe obviously that's it then you wanna skip ahead a few frames three or four two three yeah, we'll do four and then you want to drop another one and then without moving off of it it should be highlighted in gold if you're on it click on it and change it to a to a good speed um, I usually do four or five I guess I'll do four for this one and then you just hit enter and as you see it'll it'll move back a little bit that's supposed to happen because it slows it down and you see here it moves really slow alright so we'll do to right here let it render out alright try and find a clean clip and it looks like that's as best it's going to get. So we'll go to here. Again, drop another keyframe at four. That'll keep all this at four. You want to move three or four ahead. And then you want to drop another keyframe and put it back up to 100. Which will, it'll skip ahead a little bit because this time in between will be four to 100. So it'll speed up a little bit. Then you want to move it ahead again. Oh yeah, I forgot. If it turns black, um, this is your actual clip. You want to drag it out to the end. This is why you enable time remapping. It allows you to stretch the clip. And you don't want to move this dot. If you mess that dot, it'll screw up. You have to restart. Alright, so... Oh, I knew someone was going to text me during this. Alright, that was my friend bitching at me. Like, I really care. Alright, uh... Giving, a, giving his girlfriend a hard time. Alright. So, clip goes in right here. That's probably where I'll frame back. Nah, we'll do it right here. Alright, so drop a keyframe, keep it at 100. Then you want to move ahead again. Two or three. We'll do three. Drop another keyframe and put it back on four. Alright, move to the end of wherever you want the slow motion to stop. This is going to be a long twister. I guess right here. Alright, drop another keyframe. Same. It's pretty much the same pattern after that. Then you move ahead once again. Three or four frames. And then drop another one. Put that back. Pretty much it's just alternating between... And then, I think there's a part here where the bolt gets pulled back. I think I probably skipped it. Yeah, my computer's lagging because of this. Alright, here's where he starts to pull the bolt back. Right here. Alright, so skip ahead. Skip ahead. Alright, right. Right there. Drop another one, keep it 100. <laughs> Usual thing. Three frames, drop another one. Um, you can alternate. You don't have to keep it at four the whole time or whatever you want. I mean, if you want different rates of slow motion, you can do that. I just like to usually keep it at the same slow motion. So we're going to go to where he stops pulling it down. There. It's pretty much just um, practice. Once you get good to where you know it looks good, it usually is okay. Okay, leave that. 
put that back to 100. I almost forgot that would have been bad to screw up on my own tutorial. And then from there, you don't need another one because the, everything after that will stay at 100. So then you'll have it going through. So I'm going to pause this, render it out real fast, and then I'll bring it back to you. Oh, and one more thing. So that you don't get all this extra space, uh, move ahead to where your like thing kind of stops. Which is right here. You'll notice which stops when it uh when the frame stop moving. So yeah, that'll be good there. So this is your actual work. What we get what gets rendered is in within this thing. So I'm just gonna move it to the end. All right, and then to render it, you have all this set up. You go to composition, add to render, uh, Quay Quay Q Q. <laughs> Why did I say Quay Quay Q? Um, make sure it's best settings, lossless, and then output two. You just click on it, change it to whatever you want it. I'm going to call this uh, AK 74 u Twixter and then choose the destination I'll just do desktop save it as AVI is the only file hit save and then you just hit render so thanks for watching guys I'll be back when it's done actually no I won't because you'll see this video so thanks for watching I'll have a link if you want to see the actual Twixter in case you missed it and please like the video and comment if you want to see more tutorials and what you want to see them on thanks and see ya